Hey what's up guys welcome back to another after tutorial in today's tutorial i'm gonna show you how you can create this a pixel shorter distortion effect in after bit we are going to animate this angel distortion effect so without any further ado let's get started okay guys i'm gonna start with a new composition and let's call this angel distortion i'm gonna go with same setting and hit ok and i'm gonna just track and drop this angel png you guys can download this image from link in the description after you download this just import it into the composition let's hit s and scale it a little bit up something like that and let's drag it down below right here okay this looks good and now i'm gonna get a new adjustment layer so let's right click new and adjustment layer let's go with this effects and i'm gonna apply this a pixel sorter effect this is a third party plugin you guys can check it out from the link in the description this is a really good plugin so let's check out how we can do this effect so i'm gonna search for a pixel sorter and as you can see from out of the box we can get this effect we can just play with the threshold a little bit and let's set the angle to 180 so it will go down something like that okay and now let's also reduce the resolution maybe 40 will work okay i'm gonna also set the block size to 2 and yeah something like this now let's add a mask to this adjustment layer so i'm gonna go to tuba and select this pen tool and let's let's draw a mask around the angel like this so the effect only will take place inside the mask like that now i'm gonna press f again to bring the mask feather and let's give some little mass feather something like that all right looks good now let's add a fractal noise so i'm gonna just duplicate this angel png image just select this and press ctrl d to duplicate and go to below layer and search for fractal noise i'm gonna set the contrast to 50 and let's go to transform and bring down the scale value like that as you can see nothing happened because we need to give a pixel sort of fractal noise as our map so i'm gonna go to fx and let's set the source as our angel png where we added that fractal noise effect as you can see now let's also set this source to effect and mask awesome now let's go back to this fractal noise and do some adjustment with our scale make sure you are in the full resolution okay now let's go back to fx and let's just play with a little bit you can get that pixelated effect using the resolution as you can see also just play with the threshold i'm gonna just tick this inward sorting so it will invert the color like that now let's do a little bit more just you guys can just play with these values okay i'm gonna just quickly go through the settings as you can see it's not animated we can animate this using this cycle property i'm gonna add as expression for this so i'm gonna hold alt on my keyboard and click on this cycle stopwatch icon and let's type high multiply by maybe 100 and just press spacebar to check it out and something like that will work i will do a little bit more adjustment let's set the resolution to 36 yeah like that you can also increase the contrast to get more distortion effect like this okay perfect now let's quickly add some effect i'm gonna select this effects adjustment layer and then search for chromatic aberration it's also third party plugin but this one is free i will put all the plugin link in the description you guys can check it out and now let's give some position to get that nice looking chromatic aberration effect as you can see you can also give a uh, scale value look at that pretty cool right <laughs> something like this you guys can just play with these different settings to get really cool effect as you can see now you can also add a glow if you want let's search for glow and give a little bit glow not too much i think it will affect the effect of a distortion so i'm gonna put this glow top of this stack as you can see it will keep the our distortion effect as it is and yeah something like this will work for now i will just disable it if you want you can keep the glow and now let's add the background right click new and add a solid let's go with this pg for background and i will give a darker color something like this hit ok and just put it down below and now search for noise sls auto effect this one is automatically animated by after bit and i'm gonna set the noise type to green and let's increase the 
lightness something around here yeah like that to give that crunch look something like this and that's basically it you can just add some color correction use the adjustment layer and search for curve and give a little rgb curve some like this that's basically it that's how you create this awesome looking effect uh, i hope you guys learned something new if you have any question please let me know as always thank you for watching my tutorial i really want to mention my patron supporters you guys are awesome and yeah i wish you guys in the next one peace